give you this version first. It says, there is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge, say with me, knowledge, knowledge. are a precious jewel. And then the, I turned over to see what the, li the New Living Translation said, because it's just a simple verse, so I wanted to see how many ways God had designed this verse. And it says, wise words are more valuable than much gold and many rubies. And then the New International Version says, and this is the one I like, gold there is and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Thank God for the reading and the hearing of his word. Each one of these Bible translations say the same thought, that having lips of knowledge is a rare and precious jewel. My subject and thought, if you would let me give you one for this evening, is know your God. Look at the person next to you and say, know your God. He's all about God, but when we make it personal, know your God. The root word of knowledge is know. And in order to know your God, you have to know the knowledge of his word. And not only do you have to know the knowledge of his word, but you have to have a personal relationship with him. The word your makes this message personal. And only you have the power within yourself to know God for yourself. We can lift off, we can live off of our mother's prayers and our father's prayers, and God knows I have a praying mother, and she's been praying for us eight siblings for a long time, and I know she continues to pray for us to this day. But there comes a time when you have to be able to pray for yourself. Amen. You have to be able to pray for yourself. We have prayer at Greater Deliverance four times a week. We're praying on Mondays at noon, we're praying on Fridays at noon, we're praying at Saturdays at 9, and then Sunday at 9. And the reason we do that is because the prayer of the righteous, what does it do? Avail of much. Because prayer is important. We're all there praying collectively. We're praying for the president. We're praying for those senators, those congressmen that's ready to take a Christmas break and ain't done nothing. We're praying for the sick. We've had people that... Um, we're sick in our church. We had some elderly that were sick. We had quite a few people that were sick. And we were on our knees because we needed God to bring them back in. Yes. We needed recovery for our sick. And, and slowly but surely, they were coming through the door. And we're glad to see them. Because then we know again that God is still working miracles. Yes. So it's important that you know how to pray for yourself. I, teach a, I do teach the new members class. And in my class, I say to them, Give them turn, each, each a turn to say a prayer. And they're new members, so you know, they, they kind of look like me, like, what, what am I supposed to say? And I say to them, it's just a little talk with Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You can, some of them, you can go, go deep, you can go wherever you need to go to get where you need to go. But it's just a little talk with Jesus. And then they start and they say, and then I can't stop them. I'm like, you know, but once you start praying, and then my, my, my favorite thing is once you start praying and thanking, uh -huh. you, 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 you almost can't, can't get yourself back where you're supposed to be. Because once you start thinking the, with the goodness of Jesus, then all of a sudden you start thanking him for what he has done, uh -huh. what he's going to do, and what you know he's going to bring you from. That's just a prayer. You have to know in whom you trust. And the knowledge of God is more precious than rubies, diamonds, and gold. This verse is using precious jewels in order to make a point of the importance of knowledge. Knowledge is power. And how many heard people say that? Knowledge is power. And I agree. Knowledge is a lot of power. In reading and studying this book of Proverbs, I've learned Proverbs is a collection of advice and counsel given by King Solomon. Yeah, yeah. And it's intended to guide us to practical and moral choices. Yeah. You know, these days people are losing the moral values. Yeah. It's like anything goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When no, anything don't go. Yeah. When you come to Jesus, anything yeah. don't go. Right. 
and we have to come back to our morals. And Proverbs talked about that. And in simple terms, the individual who does right and good can expect to be blessed. And the individual who chooses to do wrong and evil can expect disappointment and disaster. 